Hello. Just wanted to come on and make a really short video today um, to clear up my misunderstanding on my social media. Um, and just to let you know, like, this is my last week of pregnancy. So a week today um, is my due date. So here is my beautiful baby bump which we all now know is a boy, so very blessed and very happy to be having a boy. Um, Charlotte can be a big sister. So yes, last night on my social media, I we wanted to get some nice photos with me and Daddy and Charlotte because every time we try and get photos, it's either Daddy taking a photo with me and Charlotte or me taking a photo with Daddy and Charlotte and we will try and get a selfie, but it's not quite the same. We've never quite got like a good pregnancy photo. So we decided to ask Ropa and Granny Granda for some help. And being this time of year, I got demanding and wanted a cherry blossom tree in my picture. <laughs> just because it's quite pretty. Um, just to show the season as well. Just love cherry blossom trees. One of my favourites. So yeah, we got a nice picture and we were going out for our last sort of Indian meal because, try and get the baby out quicker, I suppose, it went a little bit spicier than usual last night, but yeah, no, no, no ill effects, I'm still pregnant. <laughs> but um, yeah, so on my social media, I wrote with her nice picture, um, our last supper before three become four and Thank you to everyone who has like sent us love, support, private messages, written under the post, which I haven't actually managed to even go on and get back to yet. But I think I confused a lot of people by think or people started thinking I was having the baby today as meaning the last supper, the last thing I was going to eat, which isn't the case. I was literally just meaning the last time we were going to go out for a meal together as a little family before, because we're not going to go out midweek, take will be work and I'll be getting ready for hopefully, hopefully our birth next week, unless I go early, because as it's, it's a second child, it, that's still potentially going to happen. But yeah, I just wanted to come on, clear that up and just, just send gratitude and love to everyone and and thank you for all the support and thank you to all the, the doctors, the nurses, all the IVF staff that, you know, helped us to get to this position. And of course, my partner, who's been like so supportive and just, you know, helping me every step of the way. And I've had the odd wobble, which I suppose is quite natural with pregnancy hormones. But but we're here, we've got here. I just feel so blessed to be in the... I'm just going to embrace this last week of my pregnancy, enjoy this last week of my pregnancy. And for anyone else out there that I've made the videos, I hope I've helped anyone, you know, just get on this journey and just with all the sort of tips and hints that I used and if it can help one person or one family out there, um, that makes me happy. So, yeah, of course, I've wrote my book as well. So, yeah, that's out there available for, you know, anyone to have a look. That's Love Will Find A Way by Fabian Taylor, myself, available on Amazon. Um, yeah, so, I mean, that's just a wee story about my first pregnancy. So, this is the second one, which I am in the middle of writing a little book about. Just, I think each child deserves a book. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for the love support. And I'm just going to embrace this last week with my bum. Thank you. Feeling a little bit emotional.